according to Luke. Now on a Sabbath day, Jesus had gone for a meal to the house of one of the leading Pharisees, and they watched him closely. He then told the guests a parable, because he had noticed how they picked the places of honor. He said this, When someone invites you to a wedding feast, do not take your seat in the place of honor. A more distinguished person than you may have been invited, and the person who invited you both may come and say, Give up your place to this man. And then, to your embarrassment, you would have to go and take the lowest place. No, when you are a guest, make your way to the lowest place and sit there, so that when your host comes he may say, My friend, move up higher. In that way everyone with you at the table will see you honored. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the man who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. The Holy Martyrs of Dowie College. Now that might mean quite a lot to some here, to others it might not mean very much. Where and what is Dowie College? Well, Dowie is a small town in northern France. It's not noted for anything particular these days, but back in the dark days of the penal laws here in this country, at the height of the anti-Catholic persecution in the 16th and 17th centuries, Dowie, along with other towns in France and Belgium, became places of refuge, places where Catholics could practice their faith, English Catholics, who had been forced out of their own homeland, where English religious men and women could live together in community, where priests could be trained because there were no longer any seminaries in this country, there were no longer any monasteries or convents. All had been closed and swept away. So Dowie and other towns became a real place of refuge. Dowie College, the English college at Dowie, was founded by Cardinal Allen in the year 1568. He founded it in order that men might be formed for the priesthood, because there was no other place available for them to train, certainly not in this country. The Council of Trent had laid down various rules and guidance for the training of seminarians, and these were applied at Dowie College. Cardinal Allen intended to train priests so that they could be kept on the continent in readiness for the day when he hoped and prayed England would return to the Catholic faith. As those priests watched and waited on the other side of the channel, they saw very little sign of this change. They became impatient and they urged Cardinal Allen to let them go as missionary priests, knowing fully well that the government agents were on the lookout for them, and that very likely they would be arrested or betrayed or handed over, and they knew what their fate would be. They would be imprisoned, tried, and sentenced to death for treason. The first martyr of the former students of Dowie College was St. Cuthbert Main, who was put to death 
in 1577. The last was Thomas Thwing, who was martyred in 1680. And during those years in between, 153 Dowie scholars, priests and laymen, religious and secular priests were martyred for the Catholic faith. 153. Think of the Gospels. When Jesus said to the disciples, throw out the net for a catch, although they had been fishing all night and were tired and weary, they did so. And they brought in a huge catch of fish, 153. That's the same number as the martyrs of Dowie College. Coming here to England, they knew that their life was going to be a life on the run, that they would be hunted, persecuted, that they would be despised by many. Welcomed, of course, by a few to whom they brought Holy Mass and the sacraments. But for the most part, their countrymen would turn their backs upon them and would hand them over to the authorities if they could. It took a particular kind of faithful bravery and courage to set foot on the shores of England in those days. The English college at Dowie was suppressed in 1793 during the years of the French Revolution. The seminarians and lecturers were imprisoned. At last they were released. They were allowed to go back to Dowie for a few months and then they were expelled and they came to England. But by then the religious atmosphere and climate in England had changed very much. England, a Protestant country, was soon to welcome a large number of French refugees, priests and nuns and others fleeing the terror of the French Revolution. One of the treasures of Dowie College was the body, the remains of St. John Southworth. And before they left, he was buried deep down in the vaults of the college. The buildings eventually were abandoned and many years later were pulled down. Nothing remains of them today. But during the widening of a road in the town of Dowie, a lead coffin was discovered. And in that coffin was found the remains of St. John Southworth, who now lies in our newly restored chapel of St. George and the English Martyrs. He is a treasure come home. He is, as it were, our patron saint. And how pleased and privileged we are to have him among us. The English College was refounded at a place called Old Hall Green, near Ware in Hertfordshire, on the feast of St. Edmund of Abingdon, 16th of November, 1793. And for many years, that was the diocesan seminary for this part of England. In 1975, Alan Hall moved from Hertfordshire to Chelsea and that's where the present seminary now stands. Our seminarians are the proud inheritors of the college students of Dowie. They are the inheritors of the martyrs. We must pray for them. As Catholics, those martyrs the loyal, first of all, of course, to Christ our King.
but also, and here they were marked out as Catholics and at enmity with Protestants, they were loyal to the Holy Father, to the Pope, to the successor of St. Peter the Great. They were loyal to Holy Mass. They believed, as we do, that in the Mass the Lord comes to us in a very special way, in the signs of bread and wine, his body and his blood. They were prepared to go to death for the defense of the Mass. They were loyal, too, to the Catholic faith and devotions, which had been swept away in the Reformation. Before those years, every church in England had a lady chapel, a place set apart for devotion to Our Lady and to the saints. Those were destroyed that the Catholic martyrs were faithful to Our Lady, acknowledging her as their mother and queen. How their hearts must rejoice when they look down from heaven and see here, 400 years later, a Catholic cathedral, full of faithful men and women who have come on this day with Mary to honor the Queen of Heaven. We stand in that inheritance. How privileged we are to have the martyrs, the Catholic martyrs, the martyrs of Dowie College, to lead us, to pray for us, to guide us. It is our privilege to honor them. Let us bring our intentions this day before Our Lady Queen of Martyrs, let us pray for seminarians and priests around the world, especially those facing persecution and trial. And let us pray for vocations to the consecrated life, to the priesthood, to the lay vocations. Pray that each one in our own calling may be faithful, that we may keep the faith as they did. Holy Martyrs of Dawi, pray for us. Amen.